okay, here's the deal. What I was going to do was cut those pens down and make them into a block like this one. This is from Ruth Niles. She used to get me this laminated material and I put double stick tape on it and then I'd stick it on a face plate on the or on a metal machine and I'll turn something out of it. And it comes out really nice. I mean, you know, the things I do on the ornamental lathe could look something like that. Yeah. Well, it's hard to get the light on that to make it look really good. But that's a piece of put coca ball over for a hand hand knob on a cane. But you play with things and you come up with nifty little things. Some scare you as much as impress you. But most are just fun. And, and I tell guys all the time, the thing about wood turning is no matter what you do or what you make it out of, somebody will want it. When you be our age, you really live to make people happy. The people around you, the people to support you, the people to live with you, the people to take care of you. For me, it's all those ladies, and I said ladies, that stepped up and took care of me when I died three times three years ago. And yeah, three times in three weeks. Or well, seven days or something like that. But, you know, really I was toast. And they just wouldn't let go. It's like I owed them money or something. But I've been on the heel for a while now. By the way, I'm Captain Eddie Castle. I'm a wood turner. Just like you're a wood turner. We have a lot of things in common. One of my things in common with you is I like to play in my shop. But it hasn't worked out that way lately. Why? Um, as y'all know, I had some physical setbacks from a brain tumor and a coma and all that other stuff. We got past that, and I was coming out really good. I mean, all the parts and pieces worked and all. The doctors thought I was some kind of a genius or a miracle or whatever. But the brain didn't come back. Yeah. And they opened me up twice to go to that brain. Second time knocked me flat. Took me out of commission for a while. But I'm coming back from it. Then about three or four months ago, we discovered that... My CPAP wasn't working, so I wasn't breathing right. I wasn't sleeping worth a darn. That hurts. Why does that hurt? Because you're never really up to up to snuff. You're never sharp as a knife. Then I got through that, and I thought, oh, man, I can really get back to it. Then I discovered the really, 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 really bad news. The doctor that said it's all going to come back and be okay, he lied. He did. He lied. He was telling me what I needed to know. That I'd be alright, I'd live through this, and things could go back to being normal. When I get them there, I'm scared to death to being in the shop. I'll be honest with you. I'm afraid I'll hurt myself. There won't be anybody around. Something will happen. Something will fail. Something will go wrong. I have a lot of fears. Really. And it, it, it's, I'm 68 years old and I shouldn't have those fears. I don't think I should have them. So, we're seeing some new doctors now. And those new doctors are telling us that we have to combat it with other ways. So if you see me and I got my headphones on, I'm not shutting you out and listening to rock and roll music or anything. I got soft music playing in the background because... This is crazy, but bear with me. If I'm talking to you, and that radio over there plays, or guy says something, pardon me, my mind leaves this conversation and goes to that conversation immediately. There's no holding back. It's going to go. If you're in a restaurant and there's five going on around you, I'm in all five of them. I can't go to a grocery store. But look at a rack full of canned soup, there's not a way in the world I can pick the one I want. It just won't happen. I can't do it. So we're trying to get over that with some therapy right now. Hopefully that's going to get there. But until then, every day I got a little mission, I come out and I piddle around with a few things. And I got a big garbage can. And if I look at it and I hadn't touched it in a while, it's gone in a garbage can. I have cranked up some machines. I can't crank up the big lathe. I'm scared to death of being on it. 
That sounds like a cop-out, doesn't it? But it's the truth. If I knew a great turner that could use all this stuff, I'd give it up to him today. I would. But I think I can get back. I think I can come back to what I want to be and do some fun things. Oh, by the way, you see that mark? That mark right there? That's my wedding ring. Yeah, management talked me into wearing a wedding ring again. It's this ownership thing she's got going. Well, she got me to wear the wedding ring, but guess when I don't wear it? I don't wear it when I come out to the shop. Why? Because I've told you before, bling is bling. It's got no place to be in a shop. So if you got yours on when you work in the shop, you're taking a chance. Do me a little bit of a favor. Don't take that chance. Eh, she'll forgive you. Explain it to her. It's better than trying to explain the finger that got ripped off or the tendon damage or something like that. It all, it all works out. Now, as far as Big Eye Productions, we're still rocking and rolling. We're there, we're filling orders every day. We ship twice a day. People say, we how it takes so long? It's the mail, it's the delivery services. It's just God's way of punishing us for wanting to have a lot of fun. Hey, but we still have the cutters, we still have the bars, we have the templates, and the Longworth, and all the other things, all that's still available on our website, www.eddiecastellin.com. Combos and cutters. It's all right there. If you need anything else, you give me a phone call. The phone number's, well, here, here, here's the number. Isn't this nice how it works up electronically? Watch. Doop, 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 doop. Huh? It doesn't do the doop, doop. It's supposed to. It's not doing it right. But that's the number. You can call me and talk to me about it. And if you got a problem in the shop, you're working on something, or you're bragging about something, you can give me a call there, too. I'll take your calls. Because I'm Captain Eddie Castellan, and I'm out here making shavings. That's right. So if you want to join in, give me a call. Let's get it rocking and rolling. And we're here over the holidays. And speaking of holidays, I hope each and every one of you have a very Merry Christmas. A great end of the year. A great beginning to a new year. And you all love and adore the people that you're with. And I don't think we can say anything else than that. Be good. Live good. Love good. Everything will be all right. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for stopping in to visit with me. I'm going to go back to work. Yeah, just a little work, okay? I'm going to go back to work. Thank you.